Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm here at uh, St. Paul's Catacombs. And so I'm gonna go inside and as always, I'll take pictures and videos and I'll share them with you. Um, it's a beautiful Friday day and this is uh, Rabat Malta. Have a good one everybody, bye bye. All right everybody, this is where I'm at, St. Paul's Catacombs. And it is this whole section in here and uh, it's in this building and it's all underground and stuff. And then here's the prices and ticket information. So pink gold, and I paid six euros to get in. Um, and that's it. And I've got to go in here and they always ask for you to write down your information. So I guess I'm going to do that. So you have to put down your stuff. I'll be right back. So this is what the catacombs look like. And I think I'm in this brown building right here where it says shop and stuff. And there's the exit. But it's on both sides of the street. So you go through the whole thing and then she says to cross the street and there's more. And then here's some information. You'll need to pause as you go through this. But I think this is like 3000 BC. Is that right? I, I think I saw that somewhere on the internet. But uh, again, um, I'll have to look. Did you get all that right there? Let's see if there's something on the side. There is. And this is what it's going to look like inside. More information. Pukapaka, among the most. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Fourth century, eighth century, AD, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, it looks exciting. Let's go see it. Very cool. All right, I'll get started. Bye, everybody. Okay, so this is where you enter, and it's like a museum type thing. And it's got information in, I guess, Maltese and in English. Um, there's a lot of information here. Oh, and here's more. Markers to identify. So the Jewish markers are 10, 12, 13, 14 catacombs, one and six are the Christian. Um, interesting, okay. 10, 11, or 10, 12, 13, 14 Jewish, okay. What is this? There is quite a bit of information here. Four rumors were often buried in unmarked areas. Okay. So the pedestals. Historic. We know all of these, right? I think we've done these a few times. <laughs> and our own ones too. Okay. Oop, find you English here. Pedestal, the area around the Two sorry, okay. Mm. As always, pause as you need to, everybody. I'm kind of going through this faster. <laughs> We'd be here for a while. And it's funny, I always go back and reread these. Well, sometimes I go back and reread these um, just because I don't have time now to get through all these things. Six out here, six. The bench. And somebody said it's very claustrophobic inside. So I guess we'll see what that looks like. Anti team of person 287, team of chronology, third century BC, number nine, and number ten. And then this is what it all looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'll be going inside there. And I guess these are things they found in there. Burial chambers, cleaning up. stuff down here so this is what it would look like I guess they'd bury them 
because you can see the body over there. And they put urns in there. Amazing. But that's real ground underneath this building. And you can see all the glass floors. This whole thing is glass. So you can see in the rooms. Pretty amazing. Let's go to this one. Which way does this thing go? So, face it on my pass. Is it this way? Do you guys end up hitting the pause button more times than not, or do you just skip these and <laughs> wait for me to move on? The family always thought I gave funeral procession in the room. Okay. Morning. Huh. Wills could have been done with a few spins like they did on the other one. Yes. Contrary. Okay. Day or night. some babies. Eek. Skeletons of infants. Yeah, okay, so it's another tough thing about filming these things is that, you know, for the people that read and they go through and pause on every one of these and read every single thing there is to read, that's wonderful. And then for those that are just watching the pictures, <laughs> they get nauseous because I go quickly between picture and picture and picture, you know what I mean? <laughs> so like that one, you know, so I, I get it both ways. <laughs> Let me zoom out here, you guys can see this whole wall. For the picture people. So obviously somebody dies, there's pallbearers, there's religious people, death, burial, music, celebration. Okay, cool. Here's a bunch of stuff, jewelry. Can you see all that? Let me zoom in a little bit. I want to scan down this. Okay, let's see the other one too. Sorry to zoom in. And then if you'll clean off your keyboard of the throw up. <laughs> oh, I should show you pictures of stuff, huh? And here are statuettes that are buried with people. Let's get you some information on those. Okay, and then here are miscellaneous brick, roof and fragments, shoe strings, hog nails, bronze needles, blah blah blah. And here's what it says about those ones. Coins. I need to find some of those. 
can't tell you how much I'd like to find some of those. That would be amazing. And last cabinet here. Let's get a picture of what we're looking at here. Pots, pans, stuff like that. Here's some Tupperware. <laughs> I should get this paragraph for you here. Eighteen is a chalice. Let's see what a chalice looks like. So there's your chalice back there. Eighteen. Dun, dun. And I think I was even reading online that some of these things even have fingerprints in them from way back when, which is kind of amazing. Because they're all handmade, right? It's not like they're stamped out in a factory. Feeding bottles. Juglets. Very cool. Okay, everybody. This is this room. Let me zoom out so I don't make everybody even more nauseous than you already are. We've done this. This is what this room looks like. Okay, I'm going to go downstairs and see the good stuff. Bye, everybody. Okay, so to the catacombs. So I guess this is where we go. Free Heritage Malta bag. I don't need that. And opens Sunday, May 16th. When is that? Avju Tadhira, Tadro Bistro, Catacombs. Huh. Okay. This isn't the one that's been closed forever, is it? I don't know. I guess I'll have to look into that. So, here it is outside. It says Catacombs and Pavilions. Let's see, ramp or steps? I guess we can do the steps. And are these like uncovered tomb tops? Or maybe that was the top of the ground underneath? Or I guess we'll go this way. What's this little shack? Maybe that's the entrance. And it is, okay. Yeah, that's the entrance. Let's look here. So catacomb three, Christian, maximum number of 12 visitors, 10 steps. Watch your head, it's 160 centimeters, it's very slippery. And here's what the ground looks like. Must see, one, two, three, four. Is this where I'm at here? This is three, that's where I'm going. What's this one? Well, that's four and it's closed, but I think you can get to four this way. Okay, well, let's just go in here and we'll see what we get, shall we? Wait. stuff really well because it has that huge light sensor but I can't really even see what's in there okay well let's go down oh my god ah. okay so I can't even stand up in here or grave sites or and it goes and the lights just went out behind me <laughs> um, okay are you supposed to go down in this 
Um, I can't tell because there aren't lights on. Um, are they back on lights? You're not supposed to go in there, are you? so because there's cables and stuff so I'm not going to go too far. I think I'll get to that stuff on the other side. Let me zoom out here so you can see what we're kind of dealing with here. So these are like maybe a crypt or a baby's crypt or a couple babies or uh, okay let's go this way. So my head is pretty much touching up here. So this right here, this is, you can even see my shadow. And so it's like tiny. Huh. Did they put the stones in front to block a tomb or? What is this for? <laughs> you know, is it an emergency button? I guess I don't want to be pressing emergency buttons. This isn't where you're supposed to go, is it? I can't tell if you're, it looks like people have crawled through there. And that you're not crawling through this, are you? I mean, that's not even, just for reference here, let me sit on my butt. Oh, this is how big that is. <laughs> so that's maybe uh, two feet. Well, I have big feet, so maybe two and a quarter. I can't, I don't even know that my butt would fit through that. And this is the same kind of way. Um, well, what's in there? I, 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 all right, damn it. Let's just stick a camera. Oh, hang on now. <laughs> That's a whole nother ball game. <laughs> Where'd the lights go? Come back on, please. Thank you, thank you. Jesus. That's that one. And then I guess this one is like this. <sighs> okay. All right. They don't expect you to go through these, do they? I mean, I, you know, you wouldn't go through that. I mean, there's a bar here, right? You wouldn't go through that or you'd stay on the trail. Like, you wouldn't go across that. But it looks like there's people going in there. I don't have a damn clue. But I don't want to be arrested. Okay, lights went off again. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm going to the next one. Bye, everybody. Okay, so I came in this way. So this is that chamber to the right. And this is the one that you can see way back and around over here. And then I went down here and I could kind of, I didn't crawl through that one and I didn't crawl through that one, but I, you know, I could have, but I did get pictures of them. So that's what that one looks like. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this is the next one. And this one says it's pagan, but it says catacomb four. And I am assuming that this one is four, but it's, it's locked. So well, maybe that's not where I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> However, locked doors don't usually mean a bunch. Let's go over this way. What's this one? This is another one? No, that one's shut too. Or, all right, let's just try it. You never know. Nope, that's called locked. Okay. Um, ah, what are those? Oop. 
I guess they're right because they're falling down, huh? And then, what is this? Okay, this one's open. Yeah, okay. So this one's Christian and it's catacombs and there's 31 steps down. Oh, so this one's huge. So let's see, let's see if I can get my bearing here. Point of interest, main hall pillars, painted decorations, increased, increased crosses, ship graffiti. Okay. Well, and this is what this one looks like. So, here we go. I think my butt's dirty from the last one. I'm gonna wide zoom, yeah? Wow, look at this one. I guess I'll go this way first. Wow. And I guess they're just all crypts. Crypts, 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 crypts. Everywhere there's niches or crypts, huh? Man, they don't really give you a lot of light in here either, do they? Jesus. Ugh. And oh, that's my head. And it goes way back over there too. And way back over there. I mean, I'm sure you guys can't really see, but let's go. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> okay, this ain't right. How do you get the light going in this? Shit. Man, they, they don't... Uh... <laughs> okay, please come back on, Mr. Lights. There we go, okay. I guess I have to go faster than I'm going. <laughs> Jesus. What happens if it gets, if you get all the way back in there? Okay, now this is really tiny. I mean, we're talking like tiny, tiny. Uh, hang on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I just cleaned the wall with my butt and my tummy. Um, okay. If those lights go off and I'm way back here, I am gonna be in trouble. Wow, okay. I mean, you can't really see that little hole, but that's, I mean, hang on. <laughs> okay. Oop. This is like a, a crazy place, okay. And how do you, you know, and they say there's things supposed to be etched in the walls. Where, how the hell are you gonna see anything in, in here? I need to give ah, flashlights. Okay, keep walking, Eric. See, now look at that. I mean, I, <laughs> I know you guys can't really, See exactly what the heck is. Uh, okay. More, and you can't really see that stuff either, can you? More crypts, more. Oh my gosh, it goes way back here. <laughs> okay. And there's stairs up there. And then there's. Okay, you know, the creepy thing is here that everything I'm touching, it's probably, oh, hello. Probably there's dead people stuff all over it. Okay. Whew. I mean, it's huge. It goes way back there, back there, back over here. There's more stuff, there's more stuff. All right. I don't know what that is. I need to dig all this stuff out. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Maybe that button turns on the lights. <laughs> Probably in the pamphlet that says, please read before entering. <laughs> oh, 
Are you an American? Yes, we figured as much, sir. Wow, I mean, this just, it, 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 you can't see, but it like goes way, oh my God. Okay, well, and there's more over there. Let's go this way, I guess. Please don't let there be an earthquake. And, and I'm, I mean, how tiny, I mean, you can't really see this opening, but this, oh, that's my, I mean, I guess I could turn on a light, I guess. Can I have a light on this? Um, I don't know. Crap. Wow, it goes way back over that way too. Okay, these are just more tombs and tombs and tombs and tombs and crypts and... Can you see way down there? That zoomed in. That's my mag zoom seven times. So this just gives you an idea of what we're really looking at here. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, I, I can't really show you. I mean, that's my hand in this hole. And so I really have to go sideways and then <laughs> clinch my butt to get through this little hole. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Look how big this area is. This is crazy. Okay. It's getting hot. I think I get better light for you guys if I don't zoom out. You know, they could really do a lot better on this lighting crap, I'll tell you. Oh. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, EG booze. Why is there a little hole here? <laughs> No, never mind. I'm gonna go there, Eric. Ooh. I'm gonna be filthy when I get out of here. <laughs> All right. I mean, can you see? I mean, you really can't see this. I mean, it's just tiny <laughs> little passageways. <sighs> Ooh, that was wet. I don't like wet. <laughs> Ick. Oh, it was blood. No worries. What does this do if I press this? I'm going to press it. Okay, I'm running. And there's another thing that I haven't seen. The sign that says exit. That was tight. Oh great, spider webs. If I see one snake, I am out of here. Is that where I started from? Let's zoom in so you can see what this looks like. Way over there, you can see that rail. So that must be a trail of something. Okay. Whew. Shit, birds. 
Okay, that looks like the, the light from the street tour outside. Oh no. Okay. There's that one there. And there's another one that goes down. I mean, can you, here, let me show you just so you can see. So you can see my foot in this. That's my foot. So that's less than 18 inches, maybe? Hang on. I think I heard voices. Puta. Give me back my golden arm. I see dead people. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's crowded. It's huge. It's big. It goes all the way around. Yes. Yes, down. Down, yeah. Busy, full. English? <sighs> English, American. Yes, yes. Maltese. Maltese, yes. Now, say another one. <laughs> yeah, amazing place. Yeah. Huh. All right, everybody, I'm going to go to the next place. While enemy planes bombarded the islands with tons of bombs, the walls in numerous parts of the catacombs, like the St. Augustine's cluster, are still marked by inscriptions carved during these difficult times. People were not the only ones to seek refuge here artifacts from the Domus Romana were also transferred here for safety. Nowadays, the catacombs, like many other archaeological sites, are considered a valuable asset to society. Their scientific and cultural values attract visitors from all over the world. The revenue generated by these sites is further... So this was used as a shelter during World War I and II, I guess. And everybody used to hide here which is pretty amazing. This room is, oop, stories and traditions. It's just full of information about uh, all sorts of stuff. Let's go back to the video. Dark underground places have always fascinated and at the same time, scared people. The catacombs are no exception. This fascination has resulted in the creation of many popular stories and beliefs. The catacombs have, in many ways, become part of the community. The catacombs were used as a hiding place for Christians who were running away from Roman and Muslim persecution. Which, come to think of it, it doesn't really make sense because the Romans knew perfectly well where the catacombs were. And would you hide in a cemetery with decomposed bodies next to you? Okay, that's the key. The catacombs are caves dug by giants. <laughs> giants. You okay? Imagine big enough for a giant. I think they used to play hide and seek. Once my grandmother told me that a thing got lost in the catacombs and the merchant said, Jesus. <laughs> and 
Look how tiny that little girl is. And she's barefoot. Oh, sandals. So these are the catacombs, everybody. Pretty amazing place. It's a pretty huge place, and there's a bunch more to that tape. But you can see that it's just, I mean, it, it's huge. I thought that guy's statement was pretty funny that, uh, that you know, the catacombs to him are a headache. That, um, <laughs> that, that, that it's, uh, he's always praying he doesn't find more catacombs. Now here's an interesting thing. Here's where I came in at. And so I walked outside and I came over here and then I went to number three and then four was closed. And then I went to this one, which was the one that went down and was big. And then I'm over here in the social pavilion right now. But let's look at this for a second. That's what's still left. So it is huge. I mean, it is just enormous. Can I back up even more there? Look at that. So we haven't even touched half of it yet. And there's still the other side. Wow. Wow, that's amazing, huh? Now what is this thing? Evidence of reuse can be seen in St. Paul's Catacomb Complex and beyond. Catacomb, oh, it's a quarry. It was also churches and quarry used to, as animal pens. Interesting, Second World War raid air shelters and ancient dumps. Hmm. It's a pretty amazing place. If you're thinking about coming here and you like these kind of things, man, you should come here. It's amazing. I think that's it for me, everybody. I'm not even gonna go to the other side. I am filthy and <laughs> covered with dirt. If you're a big person, you better bring a helmet and uh, probably maybe another change of clothes because I'm telling you, my butt looks like uh, I've been sitting in the dirt. That's it, everybody. Thanks for coming along with me. I really enjoyed having you with. As always, be safe. Bye, everybody.